so uh, spheres are fairly doable, but there are a few things that you need to make sure you uh, account for. Let me just. Okay. So uh, the formulas I already gave you, but here they are again, and these are on your st uh, formula sheet, right? So the surface area is that, the volume is this, and I will just tell you that when you see that, it's the same thing as 4 pi r cubed over 3. These are the same thing, okay? Don't forget that. It's always going to be true, no matter which course you take, that is that is true okay I like to have it like this so that uh, you don't risk making a mistake and so with because surface area and volume of a sphere is so straightforward like there's only radius really as your variable unknown there it's a perfect one to go backwards like that's what we use it for quite a bit so we'll give you the volume. It's like, hey, find what the radius is. It's like, oh, wait a minute. Radius is cubed. This is different, right? We're going to have to take the cube root at one point. So let's go ahead and, and do some problems here. The diameter of a softball is approximately four inches, right? So the diameter, watch out for that, right? Is it diameter or is it radius, right? It's four inches. Determine the surface area of the ball. Right, so radius is going to be 4 divided by 2, so that's 2 inches. Surface area is 4 pi radius squared, which is really 4 times 4, that's 16 pi, if you want to put it that way, which is 50.27 squared inches. Stated like this, okay, two decimals. Um, that's all you need to do there. I know I'm, I know I'm overwhelming you maybe a little bit with the warm up, and then we're switching gears to rectangular pyramid, and then now we're doing spheres, right? I understand that, and I wish I could reduce the amount of stuff that you need to know. But I won't ask you to find the slants, okay, on a test. I will give you the slant heights. So you just have to figure out the surface area. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, the surface area of a soccer ball is approximately 250 squared inches. What is the diameter of the soccer ball? Okay, so backwards, right? Oops, backwards. I'm gonna put that on the side there. So it's like, okay, this is how you this is how you undo what happened, right? So surface area is four pi radius squared. They're asked, they're giving you surface area, so I plug that in here. And that's four pi radius squared. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna divide both sides by four times pi, four pi and 4 pi and what I'm going to do here is I'm, I'm going to make sure these are in brackets because that's what students forget to do quite often so you cancel that and what about I'm just going to leave the 250 over 4 pi like this and take the square root of it because you take the square root of both sides right you're you're done with the 4 pi's on the right side so you need to take the square root to get rid of the square, right? And you, you, t you do this from the inside out. You go 250 divided by 4 times pi, making sure that's in brackets, and then you take the square root of that. So I'm going to go 250 divided by 4 times pi in brackets equals and then you take the square root of that which gives you 4.46 so that way you're not losing any rounding you're not rounding early okay 4.46 what are we in squared inches 
So this is going to be in inches, right? Oh, this is not the answer. Sorry. I like to only box in my final answer. So did it undo, undo, right? Zero three four six zero three. I'm going to use at least four decimals. So the diameter is two times radius, right? So it'll be two times. 4.4603 that's 8.92 inches that's what the question was really asking so as we're doing the homework see which formulas are on the on the formula sheet and which ones do you need to uh, memorize so the square base pyramid you need to memorize that one and the rectangular base pyramid, okay? Another backwards here, the volume is given, and it's this much. Find, determine the radius of the basketball. So you're gonna have to work backwards, and this one is a little trickier because the, vol the formula is different. I'm gonna use this space here on this side, right? This, and then later, so I'm gonna say that the volume of a sphere is four pi radius cubed over three. So make sure, I'd like to use this version of it. So we know that 523.60 goes in here and the rest is, stays exactly the same. And here is where I can't I can't remember who somebody yesterday said like can't you just divide right we had like 81 divided by three for example can't you just divide and then get it you can but here you get four divided by three is 1.333 right it just goes on so you might lose some rounding there so I, I go multiply both sides by three first get rid of the denominator cancel out. So that's three times 523.6. That is very doable. That's 1570.8. And you're left with four pi radius cubed on this side. Then you divide both sides by four pi. I'll put that in brackets because that multiplication needs to happen in the denominator. You cancel, cancel. R cubed is, and I'm not just yet gonna calculate this. I'm gonna leave it as that, but I'm gonna take the cube root, and that I should have maybe done a different color so it sticks out. I'm gonna take the cube root to get rid of that uh, radius to the power of three. And so radius is, and we'll do that in our Calculator 1570.8 divided by 4 times pi. And then I'll take the cube root and for every, it's going to be different. This is where it's tricky. Watch how I do it. Remember that cube root of x is really x to the one third. Okay. So if you don't have a cube root button, I do. Like my calculator has it right on top of x cubed. Like it's right there. But if you don't, you can just go to the power of, make sure you use brackets, one divided by three, like that, and you get five, right? So you either use the exponent one third or use the cube root button, it's up to you. So that's five and we are inches, that's it. So you've answered A, you rounded to two decimals, but there was nothing Right, it was 5.00, just kept on going. So you gotta watch out for the rounding there. Critical. Unless you don't mind losing half a mark, which I would, I would think nobody wants to lose half a mark just like that, right? So all of this work, this is just a note. Okay. Uh, determine the radius and then the surface area of the basketball. That's just four pi 
radius squared. This is 25. 4 times 25 is 100. That's 100 pi. So that's really 314.16 squared inches. I'm going to try to make the quiz only half an hour, like 30 minutes, because I still I want to start composite shapes tomorrow. What are composite shapes, Mr. Dirksen? This is composite shape. Right? You, you, you try to stack them. How much is it out of? Probably 15 marks, 15 marks or so. Uh, 18. When a sphere is cut in half, hemispheres, I've given you the formulas for that. So surface, the surface area of a hemi, right, that if you think of 4 pi r squared, we take that and we divide it in half. So surface area is really 2 pi radius squared because the 4 is divided by 2 there. You simplify that and so that's of a hemi, right? You got to make sure you make, make uh, that distinction. The surface area of a hemisphere and this is a typo here. This is supposed to be including, including its base, which is the this is this is what I consider the base. Okay, that like if you want half of a hemisphere, and you want and this is closed up, right? There's something closing it. Then you would have to say that the surface area is going to be 2 pi r squared plus pi r squared. This is the base or that circle, right? So that would be 3 pi r squared if that ever happens. So this is all about hemispheres here. So we can do this. This is just this part and this here. It's just that part, right? So you add the two pi r squared plus pi r squared, that'd be three pi r squared. So that means that you would essentially find everything on that hemisphere, okay? The volume of a hemisphere, volume of a hemi, is essentially 4 pi radius cubed over 3. All of that divided in half, right? Because this is the volume of a full sphere. If you divide that in half, so the volume of a hemi hemisphere is 2 pi r cubed over 3. So notice that the only thing that changed was that 2 compared to the 4, right? So the difference between finding the volume of a full sphere versus hemisphere is just that you're changing the 4 to a 2. Um, and I was also thinking about, I want to, I don't want you to carry too much weight. So don't bring your textbooks to class, okay? You don't have to bring the textbooks to class anymore. As you can tell, I, I, I have so much stuff to cover. I don't have a lot of time to give you work time. 
if I ever do, I'll put it up on the screen and then you're fine. You can do it right off the screen. That way you're not carrying that textbook around on, right? It's, it's heavy. It's, if you don't have to, why, why bring it, right? Example four, a hemisphere has a radius of five. What is the surface area of a hemisphere? This is always 100, okay? Square centimeter. I don't, a tenth, I know the textbook does to the nearest whole inch, to the nearest, right? But it, for us, it's always two decimals, okay? Uh, what's the surface area? That's two pi r squared. They're not saying that they want the base, so you're ex assuming it's not included. So two pi, this is uh, 50 pi, which is 157.08, and we are in centimeters. That's as easy as that, right? I think you can handle that. Volume of hemisphere to nearest 100 again, right? That'd be 2 pi r cubed. Don't forget the cube when it's volume for a sphere. So it's 2 pi 5 cubed divided by 3. And you can actually type this all in if you're careful. I always do the, the numerator first. So 2 times pi times 5 cubed. Oh, syntax error. What? 2 times pi times 5 cubed. What's wrong with that? There we go. 785, 39, right? That's just the numerator. Then you go divide it by 3. So that's 261, 80. Round it. And we are in centimeters cubed. So that's very important, right? Units. Uh, I will say, don't forget, don't forget to divide by three. And it's so common that my answer key actually has both numbers on there. I will have the number without dividing by three because then I know that's what you missed. Um, so try to not forget about it. Last thing and then we're done. The volume of a hemisphere is this. Determine its diameter. We'll just go radius. I think it's enough if we do radius. You'll get the, you, it's easy to figure out the diameter once you have your radius. Volume of a hemi is, oh, I should, uh, yeah, two pi r cubed divided by three. I know that this is 23, 22.31, and the rest is just copy paste. And here, multiply everything by three. Cancel out the threes on this side. You have two pi radius cubed. And the other side, I will actually compute that because it's usually not too bad that's 6,966.93. That way you get rid of that multiplication there. And then divide both sides by 2 pi. It's very predictable what's going to happen, right?
All right. That's the answer there. Homework. 351, 3 to 10, 18 to 20. The 18 to 20 probably has some backwards. And I think that's it. But I wouldn't mind you trying page 19. I will do this tomorrow anyways, but I it's going to probably be a little faster than you would like because of the quiz. So page 19 has already composite shapes. See if you can wrap your head around those. Booklet. This is booklet, sorry. 